How are my teeth? Fine. Full of lipstick. Well, and that's what I hope they're not. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. <laughs> Maybe the algorithm would push that. Hey everyone, welcome to another Breaking Bad reaction. Today I will be reacting to the season four finale. It is here. I am totally pumped for this. In the last episode, we saw a lot of things going on, uh, a lot of scheming with Walt and Gus and Jesse going on. Walt, presumably, we don't know this for a fact, had somehow gotten Jesse's cigarette through to Brock, Andrea's son, and had a, apparently poisoned him, all in a scheme to frame Walt so that Gus, because J Jesse made Gus promise not to kill Walt, uh, Walt, Gus is trying to manipulate things to make Jesse do it himself because he knows he cares about Brock. It looks like Walt has made some sort of a device, possibly a bomb, and it looks like, or presumably he put that it somewhere in the vicinity of, around or on Gus's car. Um, but Gus saw something at the last minute there. Gus saw that either he saw a head or the head of somebody watching him, whether or not it's Walt, or he suspected something was off with his car or different. So um, he walked away. If he knows it's Walt, Walt is in trouble and there's a huge showdown coming. So I am totally psyched. Walt's family, Skylar and the two kids are at Hank's, hopefully under protection, but who knows? Let's do this. Before we get to that, just a quick reminder to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And we do have a Patreon that gives you early access access to all of our full unedited reactions. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, it picked up where it left off. Ooh, oh yes, I knew it. I wonder if it was in an obvious place. Oh. Oh jeez, oh my god, that looks suspicious. What did you say to Gus? Because he's on to us. He's walking to his car and then suddenly he isn't. What, does he have some kind of sixth sense? I think so. Did you just bring a pop into a hospital? Oh. Was I supposed to leave it on his car? Yeah, that's definitely a code. I think it's a code black, but I don't know. One place where I could surprise him where he won't see me coming. One place. Maybe his house? Because if you can't tell me, we are dead. Oh, Jesse never has the answers. Detective Calancho, Detective Munn, Albuquerque Police. Oh, shoot. Maybe go someplace and talk. Oh, no. About what? Concerns Brock Cantillo. How about you come with us? Oh, did Gus send them? They're trying to get Jesse out of the way. Gus is behind this. So it looks like the two police officers are there to take Jesse away from Walt, maybe to isolate Walt, um, to make him an easier target for Gus, or to, I don't know, <laughs> or to frame, to frame Walt. Or just talk. So if I get tired of talking, I'm gonna get up and leave. I don't think so. <laughs> Why did you tell Brock's mom that the boy had been poisoned? Because all I basically said was, have the doctors thought maybe Brock Got poison. I don't think that's what you said. It's just kind of sin. Oh, that cop looks so smug. Especially with how specific you are, no. Ryson. Wow. Oh. Yeah. You don't see that every day. So when doctors, they hear that, they take it very seriously. As do we. And congratulations, because as doctors, they're beginning to think that you might just be right. Jesse, how'd you come up with that? No. Oh. I don't know, must have saw it on a house or something. House? Huh. Oh God, Jesse, that won't fly. The Discovery Channel. The Discovery Channel. <laughs> oh, Jesse. I gotta get back. But we're still talking. So I'm not on arrest, but I can't leave. <laughs> That's interesting. I should call my lawyer. I think your lawyer left town. Again, we keep talking. Keep it light. It's not light. When the lawyers get to it. Adversarial. Adversarial. Oh, this is an adversarial, guys? Come on. You're no Boy Scout. Saul Goodman. That's my guy. Yeah, but I think he's left town. <laughs> oh no, they're shredding papers. This all is so unethical. 
Is she just gonna ignore him? Oh, jeez, you can't ignore that, I guess. What the hell do you think you're doing? Meet Saul, no. I need him right now. Is he here? My partner and I. Are you in danger? Yes. Why do you think he's not here? And what gives you the right to break down my door? I just need a number, okay? You're the reason I gotta go on unemployment. You know what? Well, it'll pay. <laughs> At least $1,700 there, okay? I think it's more expensive than that. The phone number. Door like this is gonna cost way more than seventeen hundred. Oh wow, she's got Souls negotiating skills. Bet you winds up costing twenty thousand. What? <laughs> oh, she's worse than Soul. Twenty thousand dollars for a plate glass door. It's There's for no the phone reputable number. Reputable vendor would. It... <laughs> wow, she has learned from Soul. Now I'm thinking twenty-five. Wow. Oh, Walt's not backing down. I'll be right back. Oh, he is. <laughs> That's hilarious. At least Walt was careful there, but you can never be too careful. Not with Gus as your enemy. Hi, it's Walter White, Jr just told us that he he, th he may have left the, the burner on the stove, but do you still have the key? <laughs> I hope nothing happens to her. I mean, she's just a, an innocent lady. I mean, if somebody is watching her house. Oh! Who are these guys? Are these Gus's men? I have no idea who those guys are. Why they'd be in his backyard. <laughs> Is this stash gone? Okay, no. <gasps> who was that? Oh shit, those guys are back. <gasps> Just cash is just falling out of his pocket. He didn't put the the vent back. That's gonna look suspicious. Just if you cared all about that little boy, prove it to me. Well, what does he have to do to prove it? What do you like? Like, like broken records? <laughs> I was trying to be helpful. Oh, oh, look at this! Isn't this cozy? Oh, What'd you tell? <laughs> oh, they they must know Saul. Well, detectives. They do not look happy to see Saul. Get the hell out. <laughs> Those guys are a couple of schmucks. My goodness. Christ, you too. Ever get anal polyps, I'll know what to name them. <laughs> no, you're a lot safer in here. They just try to get your partner in his own home. Is he okay? No, we're all on the clock here, and thanks for that. You two want to go stick your wangs in a hornet's nest. It's a free country, but how come I always got to get sloppy seconds, huh? <laughs> I've been thinking. And? Casa Tranquila. It's an old folks home off Paseo del Norte. Our boy tells me Frank took him there. Someone, Pinkman, says you'll definitely remember. Mm, Hector. Doesn't talk. Uh, rings a bell. I mean, does that ring a bell? Oh my god, that's a terrible pun. <laughs> oh my god. That, that doesn't help me. Pinkman said it was like he was torturing the old guy. T.O. murdered someone close to Gus. Sorry, that's, that's all I got. They're enemies. Not friends. That's number three in your B cup. I wonder if Hector's playing bingo. Mm. No, I guess he's not a bingo four, fan. Four on the other side oh, of your what is Walt gonna sew? Oh my god. Hector's gonna go crazy seeing Walt there. That Number's bell's gonna seven. get some work. Is it like I no, look. <laughs> I know how badly you want to see me dead, but I'm willing to bet I know a man whom you hate even more. I'm offering you an opportunity for revenge. I... Didn't think I'd ever see the day where these two teamed up. No. Oh. Hector still looked upset. You need to go poopy, huh? <laughs> you want me to get the board for you? Oh, Luigi board to spell things out. A E I Row I J K 
M N. Now it's an interesting communication method. A little bit slow, but it works. I don't think we're finished, Mr. Salamanca. What did he spell? Is it dear? Is it dead? Deal? Is it dead? Dia in the word. D Help me out. Oh, the D E A. Oh my gosh, that must be so frustrating. Because Hector wants to Hector wants to get in touch with the DEA, but the nurse doesn't know what he means. Hey everyone. Hi Steve. Come here, look at this. Oh, what did he find? This panel is 7200 amp service. This place has two of them. So what's with the extra panel? What are you, Thomas Edison now? <laughs> Freaking internet. Find anything on it these days. That is so true. I have this guy down at the office. He says he has some kind of information. Oh. He'll only give it to you in person. That sounds sketchy. I mean, it's obviously Hector's message got through, but... Do you remember Hector Salamanca? Mm. Oh, you mean the old cripple guy with the bell? Ouch. His nurse calls us. Says he wants to powwow. Do not even think about going down there. This is clearly a ploy or a trick designed to get Hank out into the open. Mm -hmm. That's what I would think. His nephew's gone, doesn't have anybody. Guess I just don't see him. Hang on, if there even is one. I don't think this sounds like a good idea. It is a ridiculous idea, and there is no way that you are going to do it. <laughs> End of story. Marie will be overrided hey, here. Thanks for coming down. <laughs> of course. Oh, this should be interesting. Oh my goodness. You got something you want to tell me? First letter S. Second letter U. C. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> K. K. <laughs> K. Oh my K. God. <laughs> L. That's enough. Thanks. <laughs> I uh, I can spell. <laughs> Should we try this one more time? Is he going to do the same thing? A. E. F. Oh, he's going to say, yeah, he's going to say F you. You. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we, we, we got it. I am, I am, I am just so, so sorry. <laughs> so what was the point of calling the DEA then if he was just going to waste their time and spell nasty things? Well, at least this time he didn't shit himself. <laughs> That was actually hilarious. I thought uh, he was going to tell them something, but Hector still, Hector will hate the DEA until the day he dies. So he's, oh, geez. Yes, we may have a problem. Hector Salamanca. Oh, okay. So maybe the idea was just to get Gus, to get Gus in the open. Any second thoughts? Then let's get to work. Oh my goodness. This is going to be epic. Maybe the plan was just to get Gus to come to the nursing home. Yeah, that's what the plan was, I think. Do they let just anyone in the nursing home? They don't have to sign their name and give their number and who they're visiting. It's not great for security. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's gonna, she almost blew his cover. Mr. Pink, you're free to go. No, oh, Saul works some magic. No ricin poisoning. Really? Surprised, huh? What was it? Hey, yo, yo, right here. I'm sure Sol actually I'm sure Sol worked that ma worked his magic to uh mess with the toxol toxicology report. Hey, excuse me. <gasps> oh shit. Oh my god, just as the police were walking by. That's some cruel irony. Yes. Just picked up Pinkman. No witnesses. Well, there almost were. What about Hector? No wires, no camera, no surveillance. But he missed Walt. I don't know how he missed Walt. I'm on my way. Oh. It's better if, uh, if I do this myself. I do this. Oh, Gus won, of course. Gus hates Hector so much. 
It would give him so much satisfaction. I bet Gus has waited so long for this for this day. I mean, how many years ago was it that Hector shot his partner? He's remembering the day his partner was shot. It's all clear. Ooh, Hector is done. I don't know whether to cheer for Gus or for Hector here. I don't know whose side to take. I'm leaning towards Gus because Hector did wrong him all those years ago. This is going to bring Gus so much satisfaction. If, if he, oh, assuming he accomplishes it. Oof. Oh, poor Hector. A man talks to the DEA. No man. No man at all. I oh, didn't tell him anything. Oh my goodness. Gus is just relishing this moment. I mean, that's a fairly merciful way to go. A crippled little rata. What a reputation to leave behind. Oh, he wants to insult him before he kills him? I wonder how he got in the wheelchair in the first place, because he looked pretty healthy in the flashbacks. Last chance to look at me, Hector. He refuses. He is so stubborn. Well, Hector's admirable in that way. Oof. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! He's still alive? Oh my god, he's like blown in half! Oh my god, he's like half a skeleton! Holy shit! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Holy cow, Walt! That was epic! Oh, there's Walt! Explosion has been reported at a nursing home. Wow! Oh my goodness! As three people may have been killed. Oh, that's what Walt is listening for. Hector, Tyrus, and Gus. Looking like. I don't know how the hell Walt walked out of, or Gus walked out of there in the first place. Our hearts going out to the victims of this tragedy. Well, Walt's Walt's heart is certainly not going out to their to the victims. Oh, they're just making him. They're just making him work, I guess. There's no. He doesn't have a boss anymore, though. So who is he? Who is he working for? Oh. You want to cook with a broken arm? Next step, CO2. Oh, is this news about Gus? What? You got a problem with stairs? Oh my god! Holy shit. Wow. Gus is dead. We've got work to do. Wow, I guess so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, what a expensive, uh, expensive accident. Well, what a crazy finale. There might be more, more to come, but so far, wow. Let's burn it to the ground. No more super lab. I guess Hank will never find the super lab. Which is good, because he'll never know Walt was Heisenberg in the first place. If he never, if the lab is destroyed. <laughs> Just cleaning it as to not look suspicious. Wow, I love the looks on their faces. A look of determination and alpha male. Oh, okay, yeah. Bye bye, Super Lab. Ooh, reconciliation? He's gonna pull through. No good. Thank God. I'm still saying it wasn't the ricin. I don't understand. Soul changed the toxicology report then. Most likely a flower called Lily of the Valley. Sometimes little kids eat them and end up poisoning themselves. So it was just random? It had nothing to do with Gus? I don't know if I buy that. So Gus didn't poison him after all. Hmm. Still, he, he had to go. Mm-hmm. Damn right. Mm -hmm. Gus had to go. 
Oh, <laughs> they're friends again. Oh, that is awesome. Is somebody watching from under there, or is that just a? Uh, is that just the camera? <laughs> That's a definitely a sigh of relief for Walt. Oh my goodness! Wow. How are you doing? How am I doing? How are you doing? I'm uh, I'm doing quite well. Oh jeez. <laughs> Gus Spring is dead, and the DEA has no idea what to make of it. Do you know about this? <laughs> no, he has no idea. It's over. We're safe. Oh. Was this you? Oh. I won. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. He just admitted it to Skylar. That is crazy. Oh my god. Wow. This finale is something else. My name's just a cry. <laughs> so I guess they can move back home again, but... Wow. Oof, I'm still shook from that. That was crazy. The way Gus walked out of that room and just crumpled. Oh, Lily of the Valley! Okay. That was an absolutely insane finale. Hey everyone, future Andrea here. After thinking about the episode for a while, I realized that it was actually Walt who had poisoned Brock. They, um, clo they did a close-up of the Lily of the Valley at the end, and that was ultimately what Walt's gun had pointed to. I struggle to believe that somebody, that Walt could have um, sunk to that depth because I, I'm still trying to hold on to a perception of, of Walt as somewhat of a good guy. I want to see that there still is some goodness in him, but now, unfortunately, after what he did, I really struggle with the idea of Walt as a good guy. I can't believe he would actually sink to those depths. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I do, it sunk in a little bit later, but I do realize that Walt was the one that poisoned Brock. Uh, Saul, now it looks like Saul doesn't have anything to worry about, although Mike is still around. We haven't seen Mike in a few episodes, so I don't know where Mike is. Mike is obviously going to find out what happened and that that was Walter's doing, so Walt is not quite out of the oven yet, so to speak, or the woods, I guess, but whatever it is. That will obviously be something that they pick up on for season five. Mike is still a loose end technically from Walt's perspective. I I did not know that Walt or Gus would actually, I did not know that Gus would actually, um, Walt would take care of Gus at the end of this episode. I thought that would drag on to the next season. It looked, I thought that obviously Hector was gone, and was going to be gone, and they gave him a humane death. Now, I have no idea how Gus actually walked out of there still alive. <laughs> Um, with having half of his body torn off and he looked like half of a skeleton, some sort of a uh, Halloween monstrosity. That was crazy and the way the way the 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 whole blow up just happened and Tyrus and Hector went along with Gus. So that was uh, I guess three um Hector was the last remaining member of the cartel, by the way, so that's um, pretty much all of Walt's enemies out of the way. There might still be a few of Gus's men lurking around, as it looked like with Jesse. So, who knows? I have no idea what to expect for Season 5. Obviously, Mike is will still be around in Saul. Mike, I'm guessing Mike is going to find out that or somehow deduce that Gus is involved in that and come after or Walt is involved in Gus's death and come after Walt. Walt thinking it was over is a little bit arrogant on his part with Mike still around. So now that the super lab is destroyed, what is next for Walt and Jesse? Will they continue cooking? Will their lives go in a different direction? I think season five is the longest, so obviously there is a lot of Breaking Bad still, or quite a bit of Breaking Bad still to come. I, uh, I'm sure it will be the best season yet. I am totally looking forward to it, and I will see you guys soon with my reaction to the first episode of season five.